the Wooks Furiosa. Let's check it out. What's a Wooks? Wooks Outdoors is based in Hickory, North Carolina, and they produce a number of different axes, knives, uh, things for the outdoors. Back in 2020, they introduced their Furiosa. This is a chassis that fits a number of different actions. This is the Remington 700, but they make a number of different others. One thing about this system in itself is the wood with the aluminum. I've never seen anything like this. In fact, when Get Zone told me they were sending a chassis for me to do a review on, uh, I was kind of like, okay, fine. I got this in, opened the box, I was like, wow, that is beautiful. The adjustability on this is not only simple, but it really allows you to dial in, and I've never seen anything like it. And so I wanted to show you guys, because this is really not only a beautiful rifle chassis, but it is perfect for getting you on target at the range. The one thing about chassis is it really allows you to get comfortable behind the rifle, uh, especially for long range shooting, for that matter even hunting. Uh, they do make a number of different models though, uh, some more streamlined, uh, but all are beautiful. And uh, this one though has to be my favorite. And we want to thank GetZone.com for connecting us with Wooks Outdoors and for them sending the Furiosa uh, for this review. Now, Wooks is actually in partnership with Minelli in Italy, and they do all the designing. And of course, Wooks there in Hickory, North Carolina, does the manufacturing and machining. And in that area of North Carolina, they are known for their really high quality furniture. So it doesn't surprise me that they're coming in with this beautiful wood. This is the Furiosa with the Remington 700 action. Uh, they do make it for both the long and the short action. This is in 308. Uh, it's one of the SPS Remingtons. But this really allows you to be able to adjust this stock to fit you very naturally. And that's what you're really looking for taking all the other variables out so when you pull that trigger you're just very comfortable. And there are a lot of different chassis out on the market but I have not seen anything even close to this uh, with the wood and the metal. We're going to drop our magazine, check the chamber, and the gun is empty. I'm going to have one of the wheat and arms, bolt extensions, uh, then the smaller little handle. And the scope is one of the primary arms, GLX 4x16x50 by by first focal plane. A very reasonable scope that is a high performer. I highly recommend these scopes. It doesn't require any type bedding or pillars. Uh, and we're going to just, it does require though for accuracy to be free float. And other than the scope, I mean, this thing is just nestled in here without touching the forend. And starting from the front, we have this beautiful forend, and then you have M-lock rails all the way here and at 6 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And these are inserts, and they can be changed out. And then we do have matching just cuts in the wood that just really set this off. But the wood itself is absolutely beautiful. Then we have the aluminum chassis. This is where your action fits down into it. It's really simple. Uh, there's just two screws that you need to unscrew in your standard stock and then it just brings it down. Now we have uh, also added one of the Hawkins M5 detachable bottom metal pieces and this allows for your magazines uh, to be able to go through it. Uh, obviously you can use this with the flat floor plate that just has the five rounds but this actually gives you a detachable magazine option. 
It has double mag releases on either side, so you can just pop it and release that magazine. It's a matte anodized finish, but it mates perfectly with the wood. I mean, it's just a beautiful fusion of metal and wood, and I love it. But here at the back is where the adjustability really comes into play. Uh, you have a wooden cheek riser here, and then we have a rubberized butt pad here. And this is fully adjustable. In fact, there's a disc right here. You just press it, and it just incrementally brings this up. I mean, it is so smooth on top of that. So you can set this to the exact position that you want. Press it again, and you can pull this all the way out. Threads on the center post are what are attached to the button system. And so this allows it to, to retain itself. But yet again, you can just pull this right out. I mean, it is really smooth. Then here at the back, you also have another adjustment disc just to press it. Man, this thing just comes in like a hydraulic press. I mean, it's really smooth. And again, you had that center threaded piece, and then you have the two guiding bars. And then again, it just comes right off as well. But it doesn't come off unless you pull it out. I mean, it retains it, and it's locked in. Very solid, and so is the cheek piece. Picatinny rail section at the bottom for monopods to give you a lot of stability or you can just have a flat surface when you want to use one of your shooting bags. And we do have a QD port here and it is adjustable and it does swivel. But the beauty of the wood and then you have this skeletonized aluminum stock and this is 6061T6 aluminum. Again, very nicely finished. A lot of design details. I mean, leave it to the Italians, you know, who actually did the designing. And then the Americans came in and did the work, and they did a beautiful job. Then the Wooks logo right here above the pick rail. Here on the left side, uh, you do have these panels that keep the uh, disc in place. But you'll notice this one disc right here, and this is probably one thing that surprised me the most. Depress this disc, and the entire stock comes right off. <laughs> This allows this to be a very short package, especially if you're transporting. And then we have this screw system right here that attaches very securely uh, to your stock. Just press it, lock it in, and it is locked in solid. And the pistol grip does have screws uh, that you can remove this. It is a two-piece system. Of course, that beautiful laser etched texturing that goes all the way down the pistol grip. But it's very smooth here and here. It's just a very comfortable rifle to get behind. The length of pull is 13 and 11 sixteenths inches, and it can be adjusted out to 14 and an eighth inch. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in between. And once that locks down, guys, it is just a solid fit against your shoulder. Now the weight is four and a half pounds without your action, and it's 31 inches overall length as far as the chassis goes. It definitely gives you some weight on the bench to be able to really have a steady platform to be able to pull that trigger and to get on target. We appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, all made in the USA, uh, one of the largest suppliers of ammo in the country. And we're using some mag pull, five round mags. We have 308 Winchester. This is 150 grain full metal jacket boat tail going about 2,860 feet per second. Now, when it comes to going to the range with a precision type rifle, uh, they're heavy, uh, they're big. You know, you're putting them on the bench and you really want to get that perfect comfort feel. You want it to be as natural as possible. You don't want any strain. Uh, it allows you to focus on your accuracy. There's nothing worse than being behind a rifle and having to get into a weird angle to be able to shoot and to see through your scope. It's one of the things about a chassis system, but this in particular, it allows you to easily adjust. You're not turning knobs. Uh, you're not you know, incrementally dialing it in. You just push that button and you just set it at the angle that you want it. Uh, and it gives you a lot of flexibility. But also it gives you the metal strength behind it and yet that warmth of wood. Uh, you can just put it right up next to your cheek. It's not on bare metal or rubber or some kind of you know, neoprene. It's a really nice natural feel to it. Uh, and then the fore end also has that natural feel. So 
all the points of contact are wood and yet you have the strength of the aluminum chassis that runs throughout. Uh, of course the free float barrel is going to allow you to get really good accuracy and then with the M-lock at the front attaching any kind of bipod, lights, whatever you want to on it, um, it's just a great way to, to put this package together. Now while on the bench is optimal, uh, if you really wanted to take this hunting, you could. I mean, you can shoot this prone, obviously. Uh, you know, it just makes itself very comfortable being able to set it up like you want to. Uh, we did do some prone shooting just to get a feel for it. And then just freehand, firing off a few rounds. Just wanted to see how it felt, the balance. It is a very balanced firearm. Of course, with this chassis system at the back, and then with this particular rifle with the heavy barrel. Uh, it is heavy, and it's not something you probably want to carry hunting on a regular basis, but you could do it. And according to the long-range precision shooting that you're doing, I mean, sometimes you have to get off the bench and you have to shoot from different positions, and this will allow you to do that. Now, yes, the chassis is beautiful. It makes the stock really ergonomic. It allows you to get really, you know, behind the rifle and just feel like it just nestles into your shoulder. But what does it do for accuracy? Uh, they had an independent study done with a Remington 700 and a standard stock. The MOA was 0.97 inches, so, you know, sub-MOA. Uh, with the Wook stock, they got the average groups down to 0.357. Uh, now, of course, that has a lot to do with the action of the rifle. Uh, rifles are different, but it does reduce your overall groups. So, not only is it very comfortable, but this system is very solid. I mean, it is a drop-in system. You just put it in, there's no bedding, there's no pillars that need to be added. But speaking of all that, when I was at the range, we were definitely getting some phenomenal groups. Unfortunately, I had my camera on the target and the battery had died. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to take my word for it because I didn't realize I hadn't gotten that footage until I got home. But guys, I'm telling you overall, and I've seen a number of different reviews of these because I did a lot of research before I started this review, and the accuracy is there. Once you put your accurate action into this, it's going to give it a home to really be able to hone in. If wood is not your thing, you can get this in a black micarta, uh, but you can also get this in a midnight gray wood finish. Um, and again, you know, it kind of takes it away from a little bit of that hunting look more toward the tactical look just according to what you want. They also do different Cerakote colors uh, for your for the metal action parts. And of course you can go to the Wooks Outdoors website and check out the details. Now the prices start at $1,099 and that's directly on the Wooks website. I'm sure that there are other dealers out there if you can find. Uh, this is the, the Walnut stocks and the Black Micarta stocks are a little bit more, but your standard Black Midnight wood stocks start out at $1099. When it comes to a chassis, guys, you know, getting that dialed in, getting the right comb, getting the right length of pull, um, I, and just really being able to settle down with the firearm. You know, you don't feel awkward in any place. So you can adjust it to where it just fits naturally. And that is really what these chassis systems are for. It allows you to get it on target. As long as you have a good action, uh, and you know, it is accurate as well, good optic on there, and to be honest with you, those are some of the easier parts, uh, but really being able to dial it in. And I think the Wooks really puts it at that right place. Uh, there are other chassis systems out there that are going to be just as functional, but this one in particular is absolutely beautiful. And again, we appreciate GetZone.com for making this possible and also for Wooks Outdoors for sending the Furiosa for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Outdoors is based in History, History, North Carolina. You ever been to History, North Carolina? It's a, it's a full aluminum, and I don't have my specs. Where's my specs?
I'm a glasses, my specs. That. Wooks Outdoors is based in Hickory, North Carolina. What am I looking at there for? <laughs> uh, Wooks is based out of Hickory, North Carolina. We're gonna give it a whirl. And I don't that give it a whirl. What the crap is that? Let's give this a whirl. Oh, the rifle and give it a whirl. 